All right, in this video, I am going to show you exactly how to play PlayStation 4 titles on your PlayStation Classic through Project Eris. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on the video and consider subscribing for more content. Now, like I said in the intro, we got a crazy, crazy mod that was brought to us by the team over at Mod My Classic that essentially allows you to sideload the PS4 operating system and even launch one game. Now, there are some quirks with it, and obviously not every single game works, but there are a select few, and I'm going to show you guys how to get this thing up and running. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The first thing that we are going to need to do is grab our Project Eris USB drive. Make sure that you are on the latest version. If you are not, I will leave instructions in the description down below on how to update. That being said, as you guys can see on screen here, I currently have my Sony uh, USB drive with my Project Eris build built into it. You'll also notice on my desktop I have two files. The first one is called PS4 Launch, and this is the actual mod file. It's quite large. It does take a little bit of time to install on your USB drive, and I highly recommend if you're not already using something like a 128 gigabyte USB drive or a 256 gigabyte USB drive, you're probably going to want to update to one of those before you start this process. The second thing I do have is a PS4 ISO, which I ripped from a disc that I actually have. And that's all you're going to need is a game for PS4 and then the launcher. Everything else is going to be done right within these two files. So what we need to do is hop back onto our USB drive. We need to go into the project underscore Eris folder. Then we need to double click on the mods folder right here. And then we just need to go ahead and grab this file and transfer it onto our USB drive. Now, like I said, this is a fairly large file, so I am just going to go ahead and skip forward. All right. So as I said, that's a very large file. It did take about 15 to 20 minutes to transfer onto the USB drive, but that's pretty much all that we've got to do. What we can go ahead and do now is grab our USB drive, plug it into our PlayStation Classic and allow it to install. All right, so now we've got our PlayStation Classic booting up, and this is also going to take a while, so I am going to fast forward, but you're going to want to keep the PlayStation Classic on while it unpacks that mod file. That mod file can take anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes to properly unpack because it is such a large file. Now that we're all finished unpacking, it is going to take you to your main boot menu. And from here, we are going to turn off our PlayStation Classic and plug our USB drive back into our computer so that way we can load up our games. All right, so here we are back on our computer. That mod file did successfully install. And in my case, it took about uh, 35 minutes or so, but it is done and we can go ahead and uh, load up our game. Now I am going to only load up one game and you can see that right over here. I just have the, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And the reason for that is because the way that the, uh, the operating system currently works is it can only take one game at a time and it mounts it as a CD. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what they did to make this work, but it is awesome. Uh, but all we have to do essentially is jump over to our Project Eris folder. Then we need to go to ETC. Then we need to go to Project Eris again. Then we go to SUP. Then we go to our launchers folder and we need to find our PS4 launch folder. So that's going to be created after you install the launcher. Once we open that, there's going to be a games folder in here. We're going to go ahead and double click on that. And this is where you're going to load the ISO. Now, this is, again, a very large file. I'm not going to bore you with it, but I will skip forward just to show you guys what to do next. All right, so that file has finally transferred over onto our USB drive and we are more or less good to go. Now, I do want to mention, obviously, I have access to the launcher file in advance before the public release, so I can't show you exactly where to get it, but all of the pertinent links, as always, will be in the description down below. But yeah, all that's left for us to do is to grab that USB drive, pop it into our PlayStation Classic, and get that thing loaded up. So let's go ahead and jump over to that now.
All right, guys, so here we are on the PlayStation Classic boot menu for Project Iris. We're going to go ahead and press the X button now to jump into Project Iris. All right, so here we are on my main carousel. You can see all the games that I've got loaded up. We need to go over to our port section. Now, this will be different depending on how you currently have Project Iris set up. You may be wondering if you can use the Project Iris desktop app to do this. And currently you cannot use the Project Iris desktop app just because the mod file is so large that it times out the software. So that's why I had to load it directly to the USB drive, but it really isn't that big of a deal. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump into our ports folder. And as you can see, I've got all of my ports here that are installed on my USB drive. We are going to navigate over to the right to the P section. And you can see right over here is our PS4 launcher. Now, all that we need to do at this stage is just press X to play. When we do that, we are gonna get a little bit of a wait, a little bit of a loading screen, and then it's gonna transition into the operating system. So here's our waiting screen. And in a few seconds, it's gonna load up the operating system. All right, so here we are on the PS4 launcher. And as you can see, there is already a custom account created for you. They just labeled it as Project Iris. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of functions that don't actually work. So you can't actually create a new user. You are stuck using the Project Iris user uh, for the time being. And I'm sure they're gonna do a lot of work to try to fix this up, but it is what it is for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it with the X button. And here we are. So you'll see that uh, it looks pretty much just like the PlayStation 4. Everything is identical. Uh, if you are connected to the internet um, on your PlayStation Classic, you will have access to things. However, just keep in mind, things will be very slow and you can't actually use anything. You can't log into the PlayStation Store. You can't actually download or purchase any games or anything like that. Uh, you're pretty much bound by just playing the single ISO that you loaded up on the USB drive. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is load up the game just to show you guys that it does work. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So let's go ahead and jump into this title. 